So in recent years, U.S. hospitals have been facing enormous pressure to improve their care delivery processes. Legislation such as the HITECH Act, which was passed in 2009, is mandating a lot of hospitals to implement technologies like electronic medical records that can allow them to implement and better use these uh, technologies to provide good care delivery. What we find is, because of these regulations, hospitals are pushing a lot of their implementation patterns, forcing a lot of their caregivers, physicians and nurses, to learn them very quickly. And sometimes this is resulting in a lot of physician and nurse burnouts, more importantly, translating in how they are actually interacting with the patients. In a series of work that I've done with my colleagues here at Ohio State, we are trying to understand how hospitals can implement multiple technologies so that they're able to avoid these trade-offs and actually have a better outcome. In the first study, we looked at about 80 different technologies at about 3,600 hospitals over a six year period. We also used interviews from about 15 different physicians and nurses when they were going through these electronic medical record implementations. What we found was that implementing these technologies in bundles, bundling them with respect to how they were interfacing with the user and how much of integrative capabilities that they have was very critical. In the second study, what we did was we took a deep dive approach looking at eight of those technologies. We found that there were two different patterns in which hospital implemented them. One was to implement department level technologies before getting into the higher level technologies. The other was implementing them simultaneously. What was surprising for us was that a lot of hospitals that are not ready to implement them simultaneously were doing so because of the high-tech act pressure. This resulted in a lot of physician burnout, more importantly, nurses burnout. In fact, our nurse communication scores that we used as a, a variable to measure actually worsened because of these implementations. There are a couple of very important implications from this, these studies to both hospital administrators and policymakers. From the administrator's standpoint, what we find is it's very important for you to bundle these electronic medical record technologies and more importantly, implement them at a slower pace so that the care providers have time to assimilate them, understand them and meaningfully use them. Unfortunately, from a policymaker's standpoint, the regulations such as ITEC hack, which is pushing hospitals to implement EMRs and other regulations such as the value-based purchasing program, which is incentivizing hospitals to improve patient experience scores are countering each other. One of the things that we recommend from these study results is that it's very important for you to maybe sequence them differently, or maybe even change their implementation and regulation policies based on hospital characteristics such as size. <music>